Hi, this is Anagha and welcome to my YouTube. We lived in this house about 8 months ago and while we lived at that time, I was not really interested in cooking. I didn't enjoy cooking and that's why this kitchen just didn't get a real good shape. It was quite unorganized and not so aesthetic which again made me not so interested in entering the kitchen. So this time around when I thought I want to give this house a little bit of a makeover, I thought let me start from the kitchen so I can start cooking. and eating more home cooked meals. So let's begin the makeover of this kitchen. Just like a lot of things I do in my life, let's do this stepwise. So step one, before giving a makeover to any space, I know that the step one is to really understand the functionality of the specific room. So this is a kitchen obviously, so we cook here and more than me, my husband really enjoys cooking. If we have guests over, he's, he gets super excited about, okay, what do we cook and what do we bring and all of that. So I really wanted him to come on board in this video to have a discussion about the makeover however both of our schedules just didn't match and he kept busy with work and that's why I thought let me just take his suggestions and ideas and then just do the video by myself since we have a big kitchen I am thinking we can convert this area in front of the refrigerator as a dining corner for just the two of us but i'm not 100 percent sure yet maybe i'll have to take some measurements and see if something will actually fit in that space and we have enough storage so we have shelves over here and then we do have like a nice pantry area as well where like a lot of stored things can go and that's our room having your afternoon nap and also some shelves near the counter top as well and some decent storage area under the kitchen counter as well. Now that we know the functionality of the room, I just want to draw some baselines from where we'd start working on the makeover. I definitely want this makeover to be super budget friendly, but also I want to like invest in some pretty pieces of say glass jars just to up the vibe of the kitchen and make it aesthetic and add a couple of decor like just one or two decor pieces to kind of light up the room as well. While we're at it, I definitely want to make sure that we're going to find more sustainable and eco-friendly ways of the makeover. So for example, this is a box in which my mom buys some snacks and we have several of these because we've bought quite a few of such boxes. You know, while it is plastic, it's better to reuse plastic rather than throw this and buy glass jars assuming it's more sustainable. No, it's better to reuse this is a good grade plastic as well so it can definitely be used for a couple months or probably a year or so but the only thing I don't like is the red cap in this so I'm thinking what can be done to change this overall yes the entire kitchen will be of the colors black white and maybe some blues and yellows because that's the color we're going for the house so yes with that let's get to step two so step two is to analyze the problem area. So if we don't know what the problem is while we're giving the makeover, we'll not be able to address the issue. So analyzing the problem areas that are currently there will definitely be helpful to do the makeover. So first problem that I can for sure see is that we've come back to this kitchen after eight months. So there is a lot of decluttering to do. So a lot of food might be spoiled and we have to check if the food is good and like throw away or keep it. So that that is one thing and the second thing is the kitchen is just unorganized like the spices are somewhere the pulses are somewhere the rice dal is just it's not kept in a proper designated space and for some there isn't any designated space as well even though the cabinets under the kitchen tops are spacious and looks organized it's still not as functional organization needs to happen i need to plan what to keep where and how so that is one thing and probably need to order a few glass jars to accommodate all of these and uh, I think I would love to label everything so it is accessible to the both of us and of course sometimes our mothers or friends come home and they would also like to cook with us so it's just convenient because it's a huge kitchen there is space for people to come and cook together so yeah that is the idea so those are all the problem areas that we need to work on step three planning
things that I've ordered, most of the things I feel like is ready for the kitchen makeover. So today is an extensive day where I am putting all the things together and setting everything up. So starting from this chef. This is my face now exactly because my entire kitchen is a mess and I don't know how to clear it up. <laughs> It is uh, 1 55 p.m. I started this at 10 30. I am neither hungry, I'm nor tired. I'm in fact super excited to bring this all together. I think a lot of it is done. I have made notes of what else is pending, which I probably cannot do now or today. So, might need another day to give the final touches to the kitchen. But I'm so, so excited how this is turning out. Most of the things for the kitchen are done. I am given kitchen tour today. However, just a couple of things are pending which I'll finish and then you'll see the kitchen tour. Somehow, I don't find this sticker nice. It feels too big. So I'm just trying to cut it out and feel like that will be better this this extra is too is too extra <laughs> Thank you. 
it is done welcome to my kitchen tour so as soon as you enter the kitchen here is the shelf that you see towards the right hand side in this shelf what i've done is on the top section i've put some tissues and just random stuff like a cooking book that i got and the next rack is the onion and the potatoes and also the ginger and the garlic so these are the organizers that i bought and these are the zomato boxes and then i have a coconut and these these stuff to lock your chips and stuff so that is also cool so in the next section this is like the snack counter so first i have bowl or like a an organizer full of fruits if it is empty it will be a reminder for me to fill in fruits and if when it's full i know as soon as i enter the kitchen i see fruits so yes that's the cue to eat fruits i have like four cute jars with mouth fresheners two different types of mouth freshener sauce and i have chia seeds in here chia seeds are the seeds that i use most to mix with my water and drink and then i have four cute jars for dry fruits all of these four i got by ordering uh, cake jars so three of these had black lids and one of these i painted black it was a yellow lid i painted it black so i have cashews i have raisins i have dates i should fill in some almonds i still have to buy almonds so what i've done is these dates right i've removed the seed out of it so i can quickly like come in pick one there's no seed at all so have to be able to eat dates like there's no throwing the seed scenario when i actually have to In the last shelf, I have some bags for grocery shopping. So this is all about this shelf. Next, let's move on. As we move ahead and come, there is a refrigerator. We have like a small refrigerator. On this, I have a few things that I don't want for sure the ants to come to. So this is some toppers for my dog's food, some fish powder, flaxseed powders, and stuff to add to her meals. And I have got an akki roti which I've opened. So if it's on the counter, sometimes the ants do come. So it's here. and then the fridge of course and i got this magnetic planner when i plan the meals i would write it down so for example in monday i would actually plan to do some chapatis and a potato curry for lunch i can actually do potato curry with rice so the plan is done i like how it looks and comes with this cute coat pens so yeah this is all about the fridge moving on so this side of the counter top has really nothing this is majorly for meal prepping so i cut all the vegetables here it's easier because i can get the vegetables from the fridge over here and i have the wet dustbin over here so it's easy to like chop and like put it over here and on the window sill as well i haven't put anything in this side there's a small cup over here it's basically a broken coffee mug i just painted it black i'll tell you why and i put it here i can put some knickknacks there right now it's empty however and i got this cute absolutely cute yellow planter from june shop i'll put the link in the description box below it's absolutely cute i have to go on a plant shopping spree soon so when i do that i add a plant over here and i here because of course the basin is here so watering the plant will be easy from here and this section is where i put in all the cleaning essential whatever and of course this is the drying rack the basin yeah next we have this section of the counter top which starts off with of course there's the water thing in this end there is a drying mat which i use for glass utensils which i can't add in the drying rack with the other steel utensils and there is the stove and over here on the window sill we have some space where i put the spoon and fork stand and next to it i have this box which is basically a plastic ice cream box i painted it black black is kind of the aesthetics of the kitchen how it is finally turned into and uh, i put all of these essentials like lighter and all of these stuff inside of this so it stays organized and i have these cloth to hold the hot vessels this is for the ginger tea and scissors and some tissues just have about one or two tissues here and the shaker the salt and i put chaat masala instead of pepper because i am extremely fond of chaat masala and there's a pen and a post it note just in case if i have to make notes of anything and at the end there is another ice cream box to just store some knickknacks i have put in some rubber 
pans inside and there is some essential oil for the diffuser that's right next to it. Moving on to the section next to the countertop, on top I just kept some water bottles and in the next shelf I have three glass jars, pretty pretty glass jars, one for cornflakes, one for oats, oats is not yet here so it's empty and the third one I don't know what I put in but it's there and then I have the oil section where I have coconut oil, some rice bran oil and some olive oil. So that is all about it and in the next section I have really cute jars, the new jars that I bought. So this is the new jar that I bought, chili powder, haldi, garam masala. I think I should buy some step stuff over here to place these but yeah this is the jita and all of the tempering stuff over here and then I intend to put some jams and pickles in this section. I don't have them yet at home so when I get them I'll put them here and right underneath these so this is a box for salt, a box for sugar and then again these boxes for tea, coffee and tiggle. Tiggle is the hot chocolate that I like to drink other than coffee and tea. And in that corner we have some nice some green tea which I barely drink and the newly bought bread and some chopping boards. This is the pantry area, like a small storeroom kind of thing. So on top of it, I have stuff that I don't use at all. It's just lying there. And in the next shelf, I have, again, a couple of things that I don't use as often. Then I have newspaper and plastic covers, polythene plastic covers that I saved from wherever I got it from. Next, I have some garbage bags and a box full of medicine. In the next section, the section that I use the most. So first off, we have the tur dal, the dal that we use regularly. And then I have the white rice that we eat. And then there is rice that I use for aloo. She has a little bit of a different rice that I use, which cooks slightly mushier than the regular rice. It's good for the digestion, apparently. This is the box for wheat. I haven't yet filled wheat. Then we have Mangalorans eat uh, something called brown rice, red rice or whatever it is. Though we don't eat it as often, I do have some for guests or sometimes when we feel like eating. So that is here. And then of course we have basmati rice for pilaw, fried rice and stuff like that. So that is all about this section. And down here what we have is aloo section. So this is her box of treats. Anything and everything that is related to food intake that's all inside this box. Full of treats right now actually. Just did some shopping very recently. So this is her box full of interactive toys. So for example, this is a lick mat. I can uh, put some ice cream or um, you know peanut butter on this and give it to her to lick. She will lick for like 10 minutes straight. It keeps her busy and active. And uh, there are more toys like that. So there is one of these where we put in treats over here and hide it like, like this. So dogs, they will figure it out and they push it and they'll get the treat and eat. So these are all the games that keep her busy when I am not available. So I keep all of this ready and then I get to work. So that's all of that. And then there is another box. It was supposed to be a dustbin but it's not. I haven't used it as a dustbin. I'm using this as a box of all of her things like grooming stuff, her um, new collar, basically entirely dog stuff. And other than this, she has another basket of toys. And in the other area, I have an idli cooker and hot box and some aluminium foil. All of these things are not the things that I use as often, so it's quite up high. And here is my new favorite section. So basically, all of these were plastic snack boxes that my mom bought snacks from somewhere. They have red lids and they were kind of ugly. I didn't feel good about these. So what I did was I bought some oil paints and painted these black. Just, you know, I wanted uh, finally everything to turn out to be, you know, that black theme. So of course, I put some floors here. So I have Meda, I have Ragi and I have Basin. This is another, these are all DIY. So this is a Kisan Jam bottle. Again, see if you can see some red. <laughs> 
marks over here. I painted the lid black and I put some tamarind inside this. We use them for sambars and stuff like that. And then I have these small plastic bottles that my mom gave me. They have like creamish lids and I felt those were fine. I didn't want to change them. So I put all the pulses in here. I intend to add more pulses into my diet. So this should remind me more of it. More convenient when everything is right in front of the eyes. So yeah, this is one section. And down here, this is the snack section. So this box is the snacks that are direct to eat. Like cookies and groundnuts and stuff like that. This is a snack box that has stuff that needs to be cooked. Like popcorn and Maggie and stuff like that. And then down there, I have a box or a bucket rather. Inside which I have all the storage stuff. That is all about my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because the living room makeover is coming up soon. And like this video if you like this. And please, please, please do share it with your friends and family as well. And do check out these two videos. I'm sure you'll like them. Until next time, thank you. Bye-bye.